Sandra here from Carcraft Auto Detailing in Melbourne. Today's video is a look at the more unglorified side of detailing, which is interiors. More specifically, the chemicals and products I use to clean, dress and protect car interiors. On a side note, I'll be making a separate video shortly looking at the tools, accessories and equipment I use as well. From a business perspective, there is only so much I can charge for interior details in comparison to paint correction and protection. Even though at times, interior details can be far more time consuming than exterior ones. So, it's vital for me to find more cost effective and time efficient products and methods to make this area of detailing financially viable. Things like buying these products in bulk and concentrated forms as well as finding chemicals and dressings that can be adapted through dilution and technique to work on both interior and exterior trim can not only save money but drastically limit the amount of products I need to stock and carry, thereby increasing productivity and simplifying my detailing process. So let's have a look at some of these products, their various uses, cost, performance and durability. First up is interior cleaning chemicals. Also, just to add, there are three main types of interior details I do, which dictate the types of products I use. Firstly is maintenance, which is usually a quick wipe down with an all-purpose cleaner, followed by a top up of light dressing. Secondly is a restoration detail, which usually involves concentrated dilutions of all-purpose cleaners, degreasers, spot cleaners and adhesive removers, as well as more liberal use of surface dressings. Lastly is the protection detail, which is similar to the restoration one without the use of dressings but adds an alcohol based pre-clean to prepare the surface for durable coatings. First on the list is my most used interior cleaning product, Meguiar's All Purpose Cleaner. I use a diluted 1 to 10 for mild cleaning as well as 1 to 4 for heavily soiled surfaces. What separates Meguiar's from other all purpose cleaners I've tried apart from its great cleaning ability and dilution adaptability is its residue free finish. I found other all-purpose cleaners to leave white streaking residue behind as well as hardening and stiffening fabrics and carpets that the Meguiar's has no issue with. And at about $50 for 3.8 litres of concentrate which is good for about 50 car interiors it's also my cheapest product. Next up is Meguiar's Super Degreaser. For interiors where all-purpose cleaner just isn't effective enough, I step up to this product. I mostly use it at a 1 to 7 dilution, but also at a 1 to 4 dilution for more stubborn stains and marks. And again, I like the Meguiar's for its residue free finish and the fact that I use both the degreaser and the all-purpose cleaner's stronger dilutions for exterior tyre, engine and traffic film removal. This is my most used product of all. At about $65 for 3.8 litres of concentrate, it's a little more expensive than the all-purpose cleaner, but still relatively cheap. And on a side note, many brands have specific carpet, upholstery, leather, vinyl and plastic dedicated cleaners, which in most cases is the same product variant and nothing more than a marketing ploy to sell more products. It doesn't take a half dozen different cleaners and another half a dozen different dressings to detail a car interior, nor should it. Another great product is Bissell Spot Clean. Usually I use Meguiar's all purpose cleaner in my extractor with hot water and use Super Degreaser as a spot and pre treatment on carpet and stained fabrics. I've tested many dedicated carpet and extractor cleaners, most not capable of lifting stains, and a couple that worked a little too well, removing the fabric's colour along with the stain. Bissell Spot Clean is a great balance of being capable and safe. I would give it a slight edge over the Meguiar's for extraction use, but unless I can find it in bulk, $16 for a half litre bottle is far too expensive. Also, I want to add that I'm sure there's other brands of these chemicals that work just as well. The reason I stay with Meguiar's is that I know how they react on different surfaces at different dilutions. Switching brands would mean having to retest and formulate dilutions once again, which takes time and effort. So, unless there's a drastic difference in cost and performance, it's really not worth going through that process for me. Next up is Glitz. 
Similar to the well-known Lexol, it's a product for leather that cleans, conditions and protects in one easy step. The issue is, however, that it's not great for cleaning more than the lightest of dirt. Having used Lexol extensively, I can say it's all around better than Glitz, but not three times the price better, in my opinion. Having tried many dedicated leather cleaners, I found that none clean as well as all-purpose cleaners or degreasers. Many people seem scared or in an uproar to use anything but a gentle leather cleaner on leather. But the fact is that leather is quite strong and resilient, especially on new cars as it's clear coated. Trying to clean some of the leather seats that I'm given with an all-in-one cleaner is like trying to clean graffiti off a wall using moisturising cream. But where these products make sense to me is in maintenance cleaning. The fact that I can do some mold cleaning and dress the interior all in one quick step is a great time saver, plus they work fine on vinyl and plastics as well. Another time saving product is Meguiar's Quick Interior Detailer. This product is not going to produce any real cleaning action, but it will lift mild dirt and is great if you want that factory matte finish. For more intensive stain removal and embedded gunk removal, adhesive removers can work wonders. Goo Gone, not to be mistaken with Goo Off is great at breaking down grease, sticky residue and even ink marks. Whilst being generally safe on most surfaces, both interior and exterior trims and paint. Similar, but even better again, is Rapid Remover. It does everything that Gugon does, just a little faster and more effective, for about the same price. And just quickly, free spray aerosols are great on embedded chewing gum. These products crystallise the gum, allowing you to remove it far easier and safer. Now briefly onto glass cleaners. Personally, with glass being my pet hate in the detailing process, I've yet to find that miracle glass cleaner that changes my feelings towards this area. I must have tried most of the glass cleaners around, but generally I gravitate back to Meguiar's glass cleaner concentrate for both performance and cost. Stoner's Invisible Glass, however, may be the only glass cleaner around to rival the Meguiar's in performance, as well as cost, as it's also available in bulk, but the jury's still out on that decision. So let's move on to dressings. For most, gone are the armor old days of greasy, gloss blinding interior dressings that even I was guilty of 20 years ago, but please keep that to yourself. My favorite dressing for the past few years has been Duragloss Leather Conditioner. This also works fine on vinyl and plastics and leaves a beautiful satin finish which personally I prefer over a flat matte finish. Has good durability lasting up to a few months and has that new car leather smell which I also love. In the last few months though I've made a switch to HD Protect as my new go to interior dressing. Honestly I've tested them side by side and it's hard to pick a difference in both finish and durability as well as their scent, which is identical. So, HD being closer to half the price of the Duragloss was the deciding factor for me. Now onto a product that is making waves in my detailing world. I've only been testing Pearl by CarPro for a month now, but it looks like I may have found my universal dressing. It comes as a concentrate that can be used straight or diluted up to one to five with water, depending on the surface you're applying it to, which, potentially makes it the most cost-effective dressing I have. So far I've used it on tyres, black plastic and rubber trim, as well as interior leather, vinyl and plastics with great results. I love the smell, which is like banana meets leather. I know it sounds strange, but trust me, it works. And just quickly, because I covered this product in a previous video, is Meguiar's Synthetic Express Wax. This is also great as an interior maintenance dressing, especially if you like a factory matte finish. Also, I want to touch on air fresheners, which I have a few from AutoGleam, such as Odo Eliminator, AutoFresh and HyperFresh. I think that I've had the same couple of bottles of air fresheners for 5 years now, which may give you an insight that I'm not a big fan of these products, in particular AutoFresh's smell, which reminds me of a cheap car wash. Generally, the cleaning and dressing products I use mesh together to give a clean, pleasant smell. So, I don't like using air fresheners to go over that and cheapen my finished work. 
However, I do keep them handy as some customers do request them and also for exceptionally bad smelling cars. Then there's interior coatings. As a detailer, I love these products for three reasons. Firstly, they allow me to upsell my interior services for greater profitability. Secondly, it gives the customer the best possible protection and keeps the vehicle's interior looking like new for longer. And thirdly, it drastically makes follow-up details so much easier for me. Firstly, we have CarPro's Sea Quartz Fabric. This product is like Scotch Garden steroids. It's for all carpet and fabric seats, and once coated and cured, it creates a tight seal over the fibres that repels liquid and dirt. It's actually really cool and strange to see how water just floats on top, not getting absorbed into the fabric. At about $80 for a half litre bottle that'll do two small cars or a large SUV, it's not a cheap product by any means, but with one to two years durability, it will pay for itself. Last but not least is Sea Quartz Leather. This is a complete interior coating product for leather, vinyl, plastics, wood, and really any non-porous material. Again, it produces a hydrophobic finish with UV filters and up to two years durability. Although, I found that in certain areas, like steering wheels and gear knobs, it'll struggle to achieve that sort of longevity. At about $80 for 30 mil, that again will do about two vehicles, it's pricey, but an excellent product. I hope you found this video useful. Please like, comment and subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you in the next video.